Hey guys, the objective of this video is to do a beam element problem. We're now going to be looking at a case with a UDL, so we don't have loads at the nodes anymore, we have a UDL. So the process is very similar as the past videos we've done. We're going to be defining a degree of freedom and then a location vector. The additional part here, which is different to the beam element in the previous example, is we need to find equivalent loads and fully fixed conditions. So we're going to see what that means in a second, but it's the only difference um, from the previous problem. We're then going to develop a stiffness matrix for each member. We're going to develop a stiffness matrix for the whole system. We're going to solve for the unknown displacements and then the unknown um, reactions or forces, external forces. We're then going to check the equilibrium to see if it all makes sense. And then we're going to find our local actions where Q now equals K1D, which we saw in the previous video. But now we have this Q fixed term. And we're going to see what that means in a sec. Don't worry so much about it now. But that's the general process. So let's look at the problem we've got. We've got um, fixed fixed support and we have a roller support in the middle with 5 kilonewton meters and a 12 and 12 meter span between the supports. So what we need to do with this type of problem is because the stiffness matrix can't handle the UDL because the loads aren't at the nodes, we need to find equivalent loads and fully fixed conditions. So that's going to be the process. Let's first just define our degree of freedom and location vector. So we know that for a beam element, we have vertical vertical, vertical, and moments. So we always label the location vector first. I'm just going to put mine this way. Once again, you could have done it any other way, but there's my location vector. Um, I'm now going to find the nodes which are free to rotate or free to move up and down. So that's fixed, 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 fixed. This is fixed in the vertical direction, but this roller doesn't have any moment restraint. So this is free to rotate there. So I'm going to label that one first. And all the remainder are restrained. So it doesn't matter what um, order I label them in. So I'm going to call that two, three, four, five, six. Once again, it doesn't really matter as long as I order one first and then the remainder, the remainder restrained, um, I label. So that's part one down. Now part two, we need to find equivalent loads and a fully fixed condition. So what we do to solve this problem 